So our last step is now to go to the delete article page. Now remember we're going to be using that session variable because if, so I go back to delete confirm here, if they do collect, do uh, click on this delete article link, we want to make sure we delete the correct one and we're going to do that based on the ID number of that record. And at the top here we put that ID number into the session. So I want to delete article, I need to start the session again. And as I look at my notes, where am I? I'm just going to paste in the query. So this is the uh, delete query. Now here it is here. There's the query going to be put into a variable. Delete from news, that's my table, where news ID equals, and I've done the same thing I did in the last page where I'm going to put a variable inside there, and I'm actually putting that session variable in. So again, that's going to be apostrophe to break out of it, speech marks, full stop to concatenate, there's my variable, full stop, speech marks, apostrophe, speech marks. It's reasonably nasty, I know. Um, I'll put some spacing, spacings in there so you can see exactly what's going on. So you can see the spacing over there. Spacing, spacing. So you can sort of see how everything's spaced out so it doesn't look like five lines in a row. But there's my uh, little query. Now, uh, the next thing I want to do though is I need to just make sure I um, unset that session because otherwise this session will continue, the one with the news ID. That will actually stay live until the browser quits and I don't particularly want that. So I'm actually going to unset it. So the command is unset, open brackets, and then type in the variable you wish to unset, which in this case here is called delete article. And close this bracket semicolon. So that will now just empty that session so there's no information in it. Um, and I suppose I'll just put a little thing down here. Oops, what's going on? Sorry. Um, what should I say? Article has been deleted. It's a little confirmation message. So I've got my three pages now. So if I uh, go online and test these, let's have a look. So here we are on delete select. There's all my articles. Say I want to delete, um, oh, where are we? My first article by Mr. Adams. So I come down here, click on this, and it will take me to delete confirm. And here we are. Confirm article to delete. There's the heading. There's the author. There's all the article itself. Now, if I say, oops, wrong one, it will take me back to delete select and run that same big query again. If I say, yeah, that actually is the one. I'll go back there. If I say, yes, delete it, it takes me on and says article has been deleted. Now um, I'm assuming now, all going well, that if I run delete select again, my first article is now gone. So it has successfully worked. So that is how you would delete records um, from a database but by using PHP and also how you use sessions to keep variables live for more than just one page. I hope that helps.